Well, we look forward to hearing uh, the updates, Hyunbin. So it looks like we are going to have THAAD here in South Korea uh, by May if they continue along with that timeline that uh, Hyunbin just mentioned there. Now, it's a huge day for news here in South Korea because just a day after uh, North Korea fired four ballistic missiles into the East Sea, which we just touched upon, uh, South Korea and the United States have reaffirmed their alliance and agreed to beef up their uh, cooperation in countering Pyongyang's threats. South Korea's Prime Minister, uh, Hwang Kyo-an, who is doubling as the nation's acting president, spoke by phone with President Donald Trump a few hours ago. We have our top office correspondent Song ji on the line with the details. So ji fill us in. Mark, this latest phone call made up on the request of President Trump began at around 8.40 a.m. Korea time, that's three and a half hours ago, and lasted for about 20 minutes. South Korean officials say that the two leaders had an in-depth discussion on countermeasures on North Korea's missile and nuclear provocations, while also exchanging views on regional issues surrounding the Korean Peninsula. The two leaders share the same opinion on strengthening sanctions on Pyongyang and pressuring the North to change its strategy by reinforcing the Allies' defense system through the joint exercises and deploying the U.S. missile defense system THAAD in South Korea. At a National Security Council meeting held just an hour after Pyongyang's missile launch Monday morning, Hwang Setsol must revel its efforts to reinforce U.S. deterrence against North Korea, including deploying THAAD at an early date. We're also hearing that President Trump said that the U.S. government is with South Korea 100 percent, as he stated during his previous phone call with Huang at the end of January. The two leaders also vowed to strengthen cooperation and coordination in handling a North Korean issue and to hold phone talks whenever deemed necessary. Mark? Right, and it's uh, certainly comforting to have the strong support of the Trump administration at uh, this time. Now, we are also hearing that South Korea's acting president uh, also elaborated upon his assessment on the uh, North Korea missile test at the cabinet meeting that followed his talks with Trump. Right, his phone call with President Trump took place just before his scheduled cabinet meeting at 10 a.m. The prime minister noted that Pyongyang's eventual goal is to complete its nuclear and missile capabilities through numerous test launches to load a nuclear warhead atop an intercontinental ballistic missile. Huang said that through the latest launch, the North Korean regime might have intended to test the South Korea-U.S. alliance while also trying to get an idea of how the Trump administration would react. He stressed that no matter Pyongyang's intent, Seoul must discourage its nuclear and missile ambitions as they are an imminent and existing threat to South Korea. Huang also warned that the international community should not be fooled by North Korea's fake willingness for talks and that Seoul must focus its diplomatic efforts on showing the world the true face of North Korea. He also called on the nation's political parties and the public to unite and be aware of security conditions as it requires efforts from all sides and not just the government and the military. Mark?